So the origins of this project was, um, it's actually a, a project to do a hotel out of shipping containers, a, a budget product using used shipping containers. And we realized pretty quickly that shipping containers had a number of restrictions, most of which is that their size and their shape is wrong. They, they're the right length, but they're actually too narrow to do a proper hotel room. And in investigating alternatives to that, we realized that we could build the box um, as efficiently or virtually at the same cost as what it would be to buy a shipping container and convert it. And that brought us onto the modular build system. So modular construction takes the difficulties that you, um, that you experience in, on a traditional building site and improves on those. Over a period of time, we realized that the best, some of the best material to use is, um, is steel either light steel or just normal steel, incorporating that into a portal to construct your, your module, which then is the structure that will carry that building and carry the modules above it and, and tie to the modules next to it. And then the infills uh, in light steel frame, framing, which then adds to the, to the strength of the, of the portal and, and provides your, your walling and your flooring and your ceilings for the module. So this hotel was constructed out of a steel module, so with a, with a portal frame and then a light steel infill and then clad into essentially a, a white box which is then completely fitted out. The other massive um, reason and benefit is time because under the correct circumstances and, and with the correct production in the factory which is not that difficult to attain you can reduce a, a, your construction period substantially. And the more complicated the building and the more, um, a, and the more constrained the site, the bigger the time advantage you, that you are going to, to, uh, to benefit from. Um, to give you an indication or an, an understanding of the time we speak of, from the time that you start on station one to the time that the module departs on the truck off station six is typically around eight days. So that is from start to finish a complete room in eight days. And we, we averaged um, over most of the production time of this hotel um, to produce 10 modules per week. All of those benefits come through in the modular and the fact that you have to transport the module to the site is a small cost and time um, negative compared to the benefits that you get from, from the uh, advantages of working in a factory. I think that the most successful uh, designs in the world have been considered uh, to the finest detail from the inside out. Uh, and, and it's that consideration makes a space uh, and a building very usable, which is, I believe, the case here has made a product that is most definitely space efficient. And when you're working within the constraints of a 3.4 wide by 5.5 or six meter uh, length uh, module, you, you really have to look at the space efficiency of it. Uh, and that was something that, you know, as a template to start off with, uh, we were faced with as a, a very nice challenge. So to me, the, the key difference between this development and traditional build um, would be that there was a hell of an intensive coordination process of services and building, um, building elements to be done up front and the professional team had to make sure that each individual element would fit in and mesh together in such a way that when the Meccano set, so to speak, was assembled that it, that it worked perfectly. And, and the thousands of man hours required to do that was to me um, the key uh, aspect that jumped out compared to a tr traditional build. Um, in terms of the architectural design, um, designing with modules is obviously quite, uh, it's very interesting, very exciting, but it's also quite uh, restrictive in a way, in terms of the facade articulation, uh, what you can express architecturally, the amount of play that you can have on the facades, because the idea of modulation is that there's limited modules, um, because repetition obviously has its uh, cost effectiveness, uh, you, you can't be designing too many modules because it becomes less efficient. So we looked very much, for example, in this atrium of the spaces between modules and how we create interesting spaces between the modules. We have two types of modules here, essentially a double-double um, a room and a queen room, which are different in length. So that gave us some facade articulation. 
Um, and we played on the ends of the buildings as well to give, to give some facade articulation. So the, the, the modules, although quite restrictive, we came up with a different type of space now where we spanned a bridge across a triple volume atrium and it gave us some quite uh, interesting opportunities design-wise. There's multiple um, levels of inspection to the units in the factory environment and that, that just lends itself to, um, I believe, a very good quality of product that comes out of the factory. Far less, um, if you like, buggeration on site, far less chasing, far less um, making a plan on site. All of the work is pre-planned, pre-manufactured. It arrives on site, snagged, signed off, ready for habitation, which is quite an unusual and exciting thing. Most definitely from a, an, an interior's point of view, uh, what was looked at is the use of material that would stand the test of time. Vinyl floors, hardy materials, things that should, in the worst case scenario, there be a failure, for instance, in a, from a plumbing point of view, that these would not get affected. And also from a point of view of all of the other finishes, we looked at them in a modular fashion as well. Everything from uh, like an IKEA style thinking that it could effect, in effect be flat packed However, we took that mentality and we created it in a module prior to it leaving site. And, and that really was the beauty of the product. Um, and from a maintenance point of view, if there was a failure of a component, it could be extracted very easily. Um, and also from a point of view um, of longevity, hard wearing um, and aesthetically beautiful. You also have a building which is hugely more recyclable than a traditional uh, brick and mortar and concrete and, and, and structural steel um, uh, component based. And, and also uh, from, from, uh, from the point of view that if, if you ever needed to decommission, it's a case of taking, taking those Lego pieces apart and then deconstructing them in, in a factory and recycling most of the material that comes out of that, of that module. That's just not possible in a, in a traditional construction um, environment where you are going to be left at the very least with a very large frame that you have to pretty much bulldoze, um, wrecking ball, implode and landfall. So from an environmental point of view, it also has a, has a major ad advantage. So we're absolutely delighted with how the final product has come out. Um, it is the first one that we've built uh, in, this, in this methodology and there are a lot of learnings obviously in your first one. So we have no doubt that the efficiencies, particularly in the timing of how long it takes to, to build a project like this, would come down if you can roll out more and more of them. Um, but the, the, the benefit that we got was obviously the lightweight nature of it that we knew we'd get, but we have seen the benefit of having a, a very uh, repetitive um, exact build of each unit being exactly as it is to spec, which is, which is a quality control you can't get in conventional build. Um, so we've seen that benefit um, come through and, and so far the, the, the product and so on with the design and, and the offering at Monte Casino has been fantastically accepted by the market. Because, because it was such an intense um, project, because there was so much new that one learned so quickly, uh, you often forget to step back and say that you're part of something quite special. I mean, you, you, you walk into this building right now and any guest that checks in here would be, would be very hard pressed to guess that this is a modular building as opposed to, um, as opposed to a brick and mortar building. So I think, I think that um, to me it's important to showcase this. It's, it's, it's the first step in a direction that I think should be taken. Whether it will be taken, I don't know. So I think that's quite exciting. Because your modular construction is very front-end loaded in terms of design, you need to have collaboration between all the construction partners from a very, very early stage so that you can finalize to the umpteenth level of detail the design of the modules so that you, you, you get the benefits of the cost efficiencies, the time efficiencies and get your, your, your design complete at the right time to deliver the, the end product at the right time.